you know what a mook is? No, I don't. Neither do I. A mook is a mini cow that has lots of superpowers such as laser beam, gravity control, and lots of other cool powers. When a mook is on a secret mission, you can hear thrift shop playing in the background. A mook drinks a special milk that makes him moo every five seconds. Mm. What is a mook? A question that has puzzled shoemakers for centuries. The answer is very simple. A mook is a boot you pulled out of the river. A mook is a small dinosaur that lives in the forest. When it gets scared, it turns into a big dinosaur and it has spines in its crown and it looks just like this. It also calls for dinosaurs for help too. That's what I think a mook is. A mook is a very unique and fun trick that you do off of a high dive. It involves doing at least one backflip in the jackknife position and landing not in water, but in pig's milk. What is a mook, you ask? That is the question. Also known as Mugella quinitellophobia, it is the extreme fear of shaved bears. It is a very rare yet common phobia. I suppose you're wondering what a mook is. I believe a mook is a pizza that has meat, olives, onions, and cheddar cheese crusts. It could be an acronym considered as slang. Mmm, mook pizza. A mook is a frog, and boy, I love to dance. A mook, M-O-O-C. So with that, don't be afraid of your inner mook. Embrace it. So do you remember how to solve quadratic equations? Could you solve x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0? It's a skill that you probably learned in high school. It's something that you'll need to know if you enter a college math class. And it's the sort of thing that you could learn with thousands of others if you joined our MOOC. By the way, the answer is x equals negative 6 and x equals 1. Did you get it? A MOOC is actually very scary. As the instructor of the MOOC, I was pretty nervous to start it. It's pretty monstrous. In fact, it's so monstrous, it's massive. A MOOC is a massive online open course. Let me tell you how we got started. We were seeing an increasing number of students entering the university with the need to spend more time on their math. They were actually placing into a developmental math level, which slows them down. And we developed a course that was in online, but it was not intended to be large. And the funding for that came from UW System. It was great. The, the pilot um, was fabulous. We had 38 students who had placed into our remedial math courses take this online course. They learn, they study, and 37 out of the 38 of them achieved their goal of entering a college level math class when they stepped foot on campus. This was exactly the goal we were intending. It's a fabulous success. And while we were working our way through that, questions started coming up about could we serve more students with this same program. And right about that same time, the Gates Foundation came out with a request for proposals that was asking universities to study exactly that question. Can large numbers of students learn about college readiness level material? We were interested in math, and so we focused on that one and we offered the first UW System MOOC. When I look at our participants online, I see children as young as 10 and as young as hard as 85 participating in mathematics together. The motivations are very different for each individual. Some want to be able to help their children when they come home with mathematics homework from school. Others want to rev up their mind at the age of 83. It's about educating students. It's using an online environment that we're familiar with. The difference is that it invites the entire world in and not simply those students who are currently enrolled in a particular college or university. Because it's a course, talking about are MOOCs good or bad is difficult without thinking about the specific application that you're talking about. Unlike Bob, I am from Wisconsin and I know all about the MOOC ability. MOOC ability is the ability for a course to go into the massive online environment. When I think about it, I'm not sure that every course is able to be MOOCed. For example, I can teach you about the quadratic formula online, 
However, I don't think we could conduct a lab experiment together. There are three things in particular that we're studying about our MOOC. One is scalability, one is sustainability, and one is profitability. Now, scalability is a natural. We're, we're going from a scale that um, we've never seen before. And sustainability is a question because the students who enter into our MOOC don't have to pay to get in, and there are costs associated with offering it. We see a value in this. There is clearly a value to the institution, to the system, and to the world, in fact. And we see that, but it doesn't translate directly to dollars. So the profitability question is still one that we're trying to study and we're trying to figure out. The story of the MOOC is much larger than UW-La Crosse. It's larger than our system and our nation. It's a worldwide phenomenon, and we are so lucky to be a part of that.